Hey everybody, happy July, June, what month is it? July. We're going down to Princeton because we are picking up the 45th anniversary edition of Jaws. Um, we watched it last night because we figured, you know what, if we're going to pick up a movie and we got nothing to talk about because we're in a pandemic, might as well watch the movie and talk about the movie that we actually picked up. I haven't seen the original Jaws since like, well, it's been like five years. What's the last time you saw Jaws? It's At been, least a few years. I it's mean, been a I few could, years, right? If I catch it on TV. I or... remember like it always being on cable on 4th of July every year. Yeah, at, least as, makes... at least as a kid. I don't know if they do it anymore. But... That would make sense. But the 45th anniversary came out. Uh, I looked at the steel book. I did not like the steel book at all. Uh, mainly because my OCD said, how come on the front the water level is all the way up, but on the back it's like slightly lower so the, the girl swimming over is, is below. It's my OCD went nuts because if you open it up it doesn't line up and I hate that. Also Jaws is way smaller and off center and I like that classic Jaws poster. So there hasn't been a good movie out in a while. I want to go pick up Gladiator when it comes out. It's coming out for like right before Father's Day and um, maybe the Inception one, which is also coming out soon. There was a couple movies that came out that just didn't really do it for me. Like I really didn't want to pick up The Invisible Man. I enjoyed it, but I was like, I'm good. They also didn't put out a steelbook for it. So I was like, eh. All right, so we're here. We're waiting for Howard to go get the Jaws DVD Blu-ray. Uh, no, I'm just assuming he's Howard because he looked like a grumpy old guy. So Howard is the name I landed on. I like to give fake names to, to people who, you know, I meet once and never again. So we watched Jaws last night and I mean, the whole time I'm watching it, like this is like a parallel for the coronavirus where the coronavirus is a shark. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Rob Schneider or Roy Schneider. My bad. Never put Rob Schneider in Jaws. <laughs> I'm Roy Schneider or Richard Dreyfus. And the whole time, like, I just see these dumb people doing these dumb things, and I'm like, that's the mayor. That's the dumb people going into the water. And I'm like, man, I love this movie. This movie's, like, timeless. It doesn't get dated. No. It is a perfect movie. Where's Howard? Is he coming? He's coming. So we got, we got the movie. Yeah. Curbside pickup. Curbside pickup. We're gonna wipe Jaws. Wipe Jaws. And like I said, I thought this looked way cooler than the, um, the steelbook. You got the steelbook. Ooh, the teeth move. I like it. I like it. Ugh, it's so much better than the uh, the steel book. And then take the uh, J card off. And we got what do we got on the back? We still have our lady swimming. She's still swimming. I still like she looks that. She's pretty nanky. Well, she was in the movie. This has like your information. I showed that. Yeah, that was kind of like. You guys can pause that if you want to take a look at that. It's got bonus features. Oh, the naked lady's on the back too. Flip that over. Yeah, she's having a bad day. Or so. a really good day. <laughs> 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 Maybe that shark's teeth are sitting just right. <laughs> and then it just kind of like flip through that a little bit. What yeah. do we got? And like there's like lots of stuff in there. I've, I've, I've looked at this online. Ooh, it's signed by Steven. Yeah, each one, all 20,000 copies. And it's just like, there's like lots of stories about like, you know, how they did it, looking back. Really cool. Okay. The Spielberg, when he, Spielberg when he was 12. Like I said, this movie was so good. We watched it last night. And uh, I've gotten zero buyer's remorse getting this movie because I will watch That's this really movie cool. every year. Is that the shark or is it the book? Yeah. yeah, it's a shark. There, there was a whole documentary um, I was Barrel. watching. Yeah, it and like I, yeah, like, yeah, it's got storyboards in there. It's just really cool. It's really cool seeing how they made this on a shoestring for like zero money. That's cool. I mean, let's face it. I bought this because I like the the cover it came in. So that's the same as the the J card. Right. And then you open it up, and uh, pretty cool. You got the uh, the Bowie in the one, and you got the uh, or the dinghy. Or I want. What do you call those? Are they Bowies? Dinghy? They're not dinghies. Dinghies are boats. No, they're buoys. Buoys. There you go. Buoys. So that's pretty cool. I don't usually love the packaging that the 4K is coming, just because it's like kind of. It's basically a Blu-ray, but it's black. But it's still like that cheap plastic, and you're like, well, you know, whatever. And yeah, it's got, as you can see, it's got the Ultra HD 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital code. I think this one was actually a couple bucks cheaper. And I wonder if that's because, you know, in the other uh, pack, the uh, the Steelbook, instead of the 4K, it comes with like, a, you know, the big ticket is the Blu-ray, and then it comes with the DVD. 
Okay. So I guess, like, you know, it's more diverse where people still have DVD players, and I can give it to Grandma, or if I'm at Grandma's house, I can watch that. Not, not everybody has the Ultra HD, and DVD probably is still very prevalent in a lot of homes still, so. Right. Well, gonna like, need a bigger car. Gonna need a bigger car. I was watching the, this thing that said, like, that's one of the... So, uh, so fuck, he fucked me up. This movie is we're gonna need a bigger boat. It's actually you're gonna need a bigger boat. But he does say it three times. You're gonna need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat, right? What, what do we do now? We quit, right? Yeah, but we could radio in and get a bigger boat out here. And then eventually Shaw just smashes the shit out of that radio. He's like, nope. We're gonna, he's like Moby Dick in that movie. He's like, it's me versus the fish and we're not yeah. gonna, we're not gonna stop. Um, like I said, timeless movie. Jaws is amazing. What's your favorite scene of Jaws? My favorite scene is probably... I, I like when he's telling that, that spooky story about the U.S. Indianapolis, and he's yeah. like, sometimes shark go away, sometimes shark don't go away. And you're just like, oh shit. And he's like, 1,100 men went in the water, uh, 316 came out, and the shark got the wet rest or whatever like that. It's just creepy, and, and it holds up really well. One like thing that I can always take out of that movie is, show me the way right. home. <laughs> yeah, highly recommend Jaws. What is your favorite scene from Jaws? Comment down below. And that's gonna conclude this very delayed uh, Blu-ray trip hunt, which we haven't done in forever. Uh, might do some online shopping. Uh, and just have stuff sent to your house, because we had to drive all the way to Princeton. This one sold out like, like hotcakes, man. It was like, because, like, yeah, I barely got this one. And I was like, I don't want to drive an hour to Princeton. But then again, you know, in a pandemic and you want to get out of the house, yeah, it's, a nice, the house. it's a nice get out of the house type of thing. I like, I like curbside pickup. It's like I miss yeah. old errands. So thank you guys for watching. I've been John. This has been Cassie. Stay safe out there, guys. I know we're kind of living in a crazy kind of world and it's kind of awful. But, um, you know, we're going to keep making these videos and try to distract you from the outside world. Thank you for watching. Comment down below your favorite scene from Jaws. Be sure that you're already a subscriber and we will see you next time.